So following the trend of AI image generator, apparently you can edit your AI image using Rift. So uh, this is going to be the follow up video of my previous video on you know how you can create an AI image using Rift. And actually on that video, I have made some comparison between Rift and Recraft. And my conclusion was Rift is just better compared to Recraft. And yeah, I think a lot of people would agree with me. So this video will focus on how you can edit your existing AI image using Rift. And you just need to send an instruction or, or prompt and an AI will do the rest. So for this example, I have these two pictures of a young woman in uh, her bedroom. And I just want to do some editing. I want to change the color of the hair from black to a light green or something. So what you need to do is you have to click on the picture first and it will bring this box at the bottom. On the instruct section, you can write the modification that you want to have for that picture. So by the way, this is going to be my first time. So I have no idea how this thing actually going to work or if there is anything else that I need to know. But I do believe that this is going to be similar to the editing process in the Grok or Google Air Studio, at least hopefully. All right. Here, I'm going to ask AI to please change the hair color to green. All right. And for the images, I guess one image or oh, I would say two so I can compare the two versions. And let's send the message, click reroll and then just wait. OK, these two are going to be the new images and hopefully this woman will have the green hair. Okay, it took quite longer than I, than I want. And I would say it's not the same picture anymore. It is close, but not exactly the same picture. So you can see here is that the lamp here is different. This one is smaller and the original picture, the lamp was a little bigger. So I think the editing process in recraft sorry not in recraft in reef is it, is it is recreating the entire image it is not editing that part alone it will redo everything so it is not quite as good as google air studio or as good as the grok that i have featured on my previous video so i would say still okay but i was hoping that this is going to be editing only the hair not the entire picture so yeah my conclusion is it's okay but it's not as good as google air studio and not to mention you cannot upload your own image so you can only edit existing air image at least for now given that this tool is very new i would i would believe that they are going to add more and more features in the future to uh, to make it more competitive to other ai models but yeah that's how you can edit an image using Reef ai image generator if you find this video to be useful or if you want to know more AI tools that you can use right away, feel free to subscribe to this channel and I'll see you on the next video.